varicose patients if they come to us they are visible it is not like a, an abdominal mass or anything where we can need to palpate and examine here by appearance only we can uh, appreciate uh, with full accuracy that the patient is having varicose veins but we should make sure that patient is having only primary varicose veins without any secondary problem like any deep venous clots i mean to say deep venous thrombosis or secondary to some other cause so we need to thoroughly evaluate thoroughly examine clinical examination plays a very vital role in uh, diagnosis of the varicose veins so to make sure that our diagnosis is correct we need to do a doppler study of that particular limb which is affected by varicose veins by doing a doppler study b mode duplex scan that what we say ideally by a good radiologist where we can they can check the reflex at the saphenofemoral junction saphenopopliteal junction incompetent perforators how many they are there whether the patient is harboring any deep venous reflex or thrombosis we need to thoroughly evaluate and examine then to support our diagnosis we need to do a clinical examination plus a doppler study so that doppler study with the clinical examination with reports 100% accurate in managing the varicose veins treatment and we can give a good result 100% accurate treatment to the patient provided if we can examine the patient thoroughly from top to bottom examine both standing position and lying position and checking the pulses are very very important especially a male patient who is a chronic smoker just by appearance of varicose we should not do a laser therapy we need to check his arterial circulation also by checking his pulses in the lower limbs and making sure that the patient is having good circulation to the lower limbs by arterial circulation then we can proceed with the treatment process it it can be of different modalities of treatment